so we are moving forward ahead with a step 7 in step 7 we are going to determine the primary path and attachment paths so before we discuss about this primary and attachment path we need to uh, you know draw the isometric for this particular hydraulically most demanding area as we already told that this is the this is most likely to be the hydraulically most demanding sprinkler so now what we will do we just try to draw one isometric so this is uh, from underground for example or just a minute i'll erase this one yeah now we, we are going to erase this and we'll draw clearly once again <coughs> this is the riser for example here we are having flange this is from uh, this is the riser we have uh, one gate wall here and one check wall now this is going to the sprinklers so just we are going to draw only these sprinklers which are uh, shown in the hydraulically most demanding area so since this cross main is rising so we have raised till three feet and we are drawing the branch lines and we are showing the upright sprinkler since in this project we have considered upright sprinklers <laughs> just a moment here also we'll draw the sprinkler and again here the pipe is again raising after nine feet so i'm going to draw one more time the sprinklers this upright sprinkler since this is typical again i'm drawing the same thing this one this is uh, one more sprinkler here we have one more sprinkler also we have two sprinklers at this particular location so we are going to draw that sprinkler as well and uh, also one more sprinkler we are going to draw just we leave it like this here so now we have drawn the isometric this is the riser gate wall and this is the check wall this is the cross main and uh, these are the branch lines and these are the upright sprinklers now what we need to do we need to determine the primary path and the attachment paths first of all as i already told you that the hydraulically most demanding sprinkler is this one so this is the hydraulically most demanding sprinkler okay so now what we we need to do just i will define the primary path and the attachment path definition then we will look into the noding so primary path primary path is the path that the water takes from the water supply to the remotest sprinkler okay so we, we are going to discuss about uh, this or single most demanding sprinkler if you want me to repeat i will repeat again primary path is the path that the water takes from the water supply to the remotest sprinkler or single most demanding sprinkler so what is attachment path then one second attachment is the path where the water leaving the primary path so we will discuss uh, this uh, in few minutes now we are going to draw the noding numbers this one has already been discussed in our previous slides however just uh, for our uh, refreshment i am going to just put the noding before uh, i put the noding for the sprinklers or the piping we need to keep in mind about few things where the nodes has to be placed where the nodes has to be placed so many people don't know about this so i'm just going to explain you people see in four scenarios we need to put the nodes first scenario is at each and every sprinkler so at each and every sprinkler we are going to put the nodes second scenario is any point where water flows away from primary path so any point where water flows away from primary path and third scenario any change in pipe dia if there is any change in pipe dia also we are going to put the node or 
any change in the pipe type as well pipe dia as well as pipe type maybe in some places we are going to use hdpe pipe and from underground to above ground we are going to use the carbon steel pipe then also we are going to put one node okay so and final scenario will be any change in internal roughness third point is covering this thing just i am going to repeat once again any change in internal roughness usually a change in c factor due to pipe or uh, you know uh, due to pipe type we can say so basically these are the four scenarios where we are going to put the nodding now if we see based on these points we need to put the nodes at the sprinklers and any point where the water flows away from the primary path uh, first we will define the primary path as i already told you so the primary path will be i'm drawing like this so water is coming from here since this is our starting point because already there is an existing uh, supply this is the tying point we can think so from this thing the uh, the water will be flowing like this and uh, we need to reach or the water has to reach the most demanding sprinkler so we already told that you know this sprinkler is the most demanding sprinkler so this will be the primary path why i did not consider this sprinkler since this is this path is not the hydraulically most demanding path so this is going away from the hydraulically most demanding sprinkler path which is primary path so this will be like attachment path we call it as attachment path since the water is leaving the primary path or water is away from the primary path so this will be uh, what we call attachment path and this will be this will be primary path and now we have uh, in between there are two paths as well here we have uh, uh, one tapping here also we have one tapping there are two tappings and this is one tapping this will be comes under primary path but these two will come under attachment paths so first attachment path will be just uh, i will scroll it down and write somewhere so okay before we move ahead just we'll try to write the nodding numbers okay uh, i will take uh, this red color that would be better so this will be number 1 since these are the sprinklers 2 okay 3 i mean this 3 is nothing but here ha huh? this node since the sprinklers are directly connected to the branch line so this will be 1 this will be 2 this will be 3 and this will be 4 okay and this node will be 5 this node will be 6 i mean to say this nodes okay and this will be 7 and uh, this will be 8 and this node will be 9 and here this node will put it as 10 so now we have uh, one riser nipple here and one riser nipple here and one more riser nipple here so what we will do at this intersection point we will put like since this is the first path or primary path we will put as rn1 riser nipple 1 or rn1 we will no, uh, denote it as okay and this one we will put it as rn2 and this point we will put it as rn3 okay and now we will put this is as i already told this is the cross main okay cross main we need to put the nodding for this particular path as well so here we will put as cross main 1 this will be cross main 2 and this will be cross main 3 only these three things we need to put it here so we already uh, put the node numberings and also we define the primary path and secondary path or primary path or attachment paths okay in attachment paths so we have a uh, uh, four rn1 is one attachment path so just i'll write it here so attachment path is 4 rn1 this is one thing and second thing is or secondary attachment path we can call it as first attachment path and uh, we can uh, put like a second attachment path as attachment path as uh, you know we can call it as 8 rn2 okay till cm2 and 5 6 7 it it means secondary attachment path is where water leaves the primary path at node cm2 so water is leaving from here so uh, you know we can call 
uh, like the attachment path is where water leaves the primary path at node CM2 and uh, flowing to the sprinklers, uh, you know, 8, 7, 6, 5 or 5, 6, 7, 8. So here uh, we can write it as water leaving from CM2 and reaching the uh, nodes of 5, 6, 7 and 8. So this will also comes under attachment path. So second attachment path. Now third attachment path is water leaving from CM3 okay, and reaching the 9th and 10th sprinkler. So it is called as third attachment path and this path is where water leaves the primary path at node CM3 and flowing to sprinklers 9 and 10. Okay, And uh, just uh, uh, you know you need to remember one formula I will mention that one this might be or this will be helpful definitely okay in our uh, future classes so equivalent k factor I will explain this uh, later on so equivalent k factor formula is q divided by root p okay this one just remember I will explain you in later classes and now since we have uh, drawn the uh, you know isometric and noding we have defined so just you need to put in the plan view as well so this is the plan view or top view just we need to put it here as well this is the uh, first node second third fourth node fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and tenth node and uh, this will be here we you will be having rn1 and cm1 here you will be having rn2 and cm2 here you will be having rn3 cm3 so this is the concept so this one we need to define initially before proceeding ahead with the calculations okay we shall discuss about the calculations in the next step